Hi everyone, it's me, Spring, the Fiber Enthusiast, and welcome to my craft studio where all kinds of fun stuff happen here. So, this week's podcast episode number... All right, everybody, let's get into it. What have I been up to this week? Looks like Ethel's getting ready to take a nosedive back here. She's like, what's up? <laughs> okay, then. Well, Ethel, you need to uh, get fixed because I can't stand looking at you looking at the floor. Anyway, I've been in this room way too long today. Way too long. Way too long, folks. <laughs> All right, so um, let's go through some quick stuffs. Uh, stuffs. Yeah, I'm still not clear from this head cold, so my brain is still not quite functioning on all cylinders. <clears throat> I have that much done on a test uh, pattern. I will not be showing it because it is a test pattern, but that's what color I'm using and how much I have done. <laughs> uh, hopefully that pattern will be released and available by the designer in uh, next month, sometime next month. So trying to get that test done um, in the mix of everything else. Uh, let's see. I needed some bobbins for my spinning wheel and my bobbins were pretty well full, um, for my electric spinning wheel. So I went ahead and applied together the Northern lights. Now I'll take a picture of this separately and insert it here. Next, I um, I just did a video this past Wednesday and there was a surprise giveaway for those that participated in the crochet along and submitted pictures within, you know, I think it was like a couple weeks after um, the last tutorial came out, kind of, you know, quite a bit out. So um, I did a quick, uh, semi-quick video <laughs> uh, showing everybody that had sent in pictures, showed their pictures, and then there was a surprise giveaway at the end. Uh, the winner got a personalized gift from me. The personalized gift is two hanks of hand-spun, hand-dyed, two-ply yarn. Here is the first hank that has been spun and I will insert a couple of pictures of it. All right, so that as well as this has been done. This has been completely done. This was just plied. Then I plied together. I had two um, bobbins with gray on them, gray singles on them. So I went ahead and plied them together. And this was just a, a random odd gray blobs of fluff that I had. Um, and I just wanted, I'm trying to use up some of those little odd balls of fiber that I have left over from other spinning projects. So all three of these will now go in for a soak um, even though this is a higher percentage of acrylic and polyester than there is wool, there's only 15% wool, there is still wool in it. So I want to go ahead and throw this in a bath and let it do whatever blooming it's going to do. That way it's at a good size, accurate, stable size for my next project that I might use it in. Who knows what it'll be. So I did that, moved them out of the way. I worked on my scrap, uh, Granny spiked my ripple stitch Afghan. Uh, 
me make sure I'm on the right side here. Yep. All right. Last, last week I was right down here in the orange. So I've done several rows. I have green and purple and a little bit of camo pinky looking stuff. So this is it so far. And again, I'm just randomly grabbing, you know, with a little bit of, oh, okay, the last one I did was variegated. Let's go with a solid. Or the last one was self-striping, so let's go with a variegated or something like that. You know, just trying to mix it up and not have too much of the same color or style of yarn. So I'm trying to alternate every couple of rows. So just a scrap blanket, nothing special, no major prettiness or anything like that, just a scrap blanket. Need to downsize the amount of scraps that I have going on, big time. The next thing that I worked on is my, uh, shoot the name of it, is I'll get it for you. It's a Lisa Conley pattern. This is a ordered uh, request uh, Afghan and it's locking fillet crochet pattern and it's called Cuddly Cuties Collection, Larry the Lizard. And it is a stadium size throw. Uh, the actual size of the throw when it's finished is 65 in length and 45 in width. So this is where I'm at now. Um, these are like little cactuses that um, come up along the way. So basically that's where I'm at on it. And as I showed in the last, it is essentially two afghans together because you're working two fillet patterns and by interlocking them in certain areas you have a main color and an alternate color and by switching those sides which side it's on uh gives you the pattern so you have one whole side is an alternate color with a design of your main color. And then you turn it over to the actual right side and it's right the opposite. You have your main color and your alternating color is your uh, actual pattern. But yeah, so I will drop the link to this pattern down in the description box below. Um, so that's all I have on that at the moment. I think I'm on row 13 or 14. Uh, I'm on I'm on row 14, but um, you work. Let me show real quick, because as you see, there is no like mosaic has all them ends from working one row at a time. So you have your alternate or your main color and your alternating color. And so my last row was my alternating color. So I would pick up for say row 14, I would pick up my main color and I would work across all the way to the end and clip it off with a stitch marker. Then I would come back for my very next row, row 15, and I would pick up my alternate color and work across for row 15. So that's before I can turn my work and start down the next side. Uh, but the only ends that I have as thus far is my starting ends. So that is one of the main reasons um, I choose to go with like locking filet crochet over mosaic a lot of times because I don't have to deal with the ends. I don't have to turn them into fringe. I don't have to sew them in. I don't have to crochet over them none of that stuff. I just work straight on and I get a design and it's a very dense fabric because like I said, you got two going together. 
So there's, that is where I'm at with that. Um, I wanna say there's like a hundred and, let me see, I'll scroll down. 178 rows and I'm on row 14. <laughs> So I got a little ways to go, <laughs> quite a little ways. Um, I did do a little knitting this week. I haven't, I mean, I haven't completed it, but I did do a little knitting. I'm working on a test pattern for myself. Um, just kind of knitting it up and it's a single color design, so. Yeah, just working that up and I'm using, for that I'm using Everyday Premiere or Premiere Everyday, whatever, uh, <laughs> which is super, super soft. I love it. Um, I have a couple other things that I have finished, but um, I can't show them because they're upcoming tutorials. So surprise, <laughs> when you see the, when you see the tutorial, you'll know that that's something that I finished during the week. Um, that is all I have for this week. Um, as far as things that I have accomplished, I do have my loom up. I'm actually getting ready to start working on some placemats for our kitchen table. Um, my kitchen table, I handmade probably seven years ago. Um, I had handmade it so it's like smaller than your stand. It's not your standard size table. Um, so I need to make some more placemats for the table that fit the table without like overlapping in corners. And, you know, it just doesn't look right. So I have my loom up, my big loom up. Um, I think I've decided that I'm going to make it make them on my big loom instead of my little 15 inch Cricut um, or 12 inch, whatever it is. I can't, I think it's 15 inches, but at any rate, um, yeah, so I haven't decided exactly which one I'm going to use yet, but I did pull this one up today while I was waiting for the doctor's office to call um, to give me the results on all my swabs that I had done today. <laughs> which were negative. I knew that. So anyway, um, but yeah, I think I'm going to probably next week, uh, work up some placemats for, weave some placemats for the table. <clears throat> Not sure yet, but I think so. I, I'm kind of teetering <laughs> with it. I have a lot going on um, as far as the crochet world right now, uh, include, including the knitted world. I have a couple of patterns that I'm getting ready to release of my own. Two patterns, actually. Uh, one holiday themed and one not holiday themed. So those two patterns are being worked on or are in the process of being worked on as well as recording them. Uh, and of course, these two blankets out of the three that I really, I have to work on. They're not just something I can set aside. I have to work on those. Plus my spinning as well. So we'll see um, if I actually get something on that loom or not. Uh, I might throw the camera on and record. Uh, let me know down in the comments section if you want to see, you know, what I'm up to on the loom when I start. If you want me to record what I'm up to with the loom or just tell you about it later. Uh, <laughs> that's entirely up to y'all if you want. Um, I think I'm going to do a different style pattern I'm not sure yet. I'm still still thinking about what I want to do with the placemats. I, I've got an idea and it's not 100% yet. So yeah, just let me know down in the comments section. Are you on board? Do you want me? I know I have videos out there where I've gone through the process of making hand towels um, and, you know, 
y'all liked it, but I mean, are you over that? Do you want to see more of weaving? If you do, just let me know and uh, I'll go ahead and record, you know, some and put it out there. Let me know if you want to see the whole process. Uh, just let me know. If not, you know, I'll just delete the recordings. No big deal. <laughs> But I would love to hear from you if that is something you're interested in. Okay, so that is it for me. I am going to end my segment. And I did have a few um, pictures added into uh, the Facebook group this week uh, to add to the end of my video to show off their work. Uh, if you would like to have your whips foes, UFOs, whatever, um, your pictures added into a little slideshow at the end of my video, let me know by either joining the Facebook group, if you have Facebook, if not, that's okay, or sending it to me in an email. Now, all of that information is linked down below in my general contact and all that good stuff about information. Um, also, if you go to my main channel page, in the upper right-hand corner, there's usually a tab. Uh, it depends on your device. But there's usually a tab on the main banner on the right-hand side that is for email and uh, Instagram and Facebook. And I think PayPal or something else is up there. I don't remember. There's several little icons that you can click on along the way. But also that information is below all my videos. Every single one of my videos has all my information. But um, I wanna go ahead and thank everybody that did submit pictures uh, to be put into today's podcast episode at the end. And I'm always excited to show everybody else what you, know, you guys have been working on. Um, gives everybody ideas and uh yeah thank you for sharing i love seeing your work keep it up and keep up the good work so all right let's show the slideshow That awesome everybody okay so be blessed be a blessing and until next time bye for now everyone <laughs>